Are you already feeling overwhelmed when you hear the word detox? You cannot control every factor of what you are exposed to nowadays. And if you try, you're gonna go crazy. But there are steps to reducing exposure and simple tips to help reduce the buildup in our systems. Episode seven, detox your body. Seven easy, gentle tricks to reduce toxins instantly. Hey everybody, welcome back to Dr. Ashley, your go-to channel for everyday holistic health for the times we live in. Consider hitting the subscribe button to stay updated on the latest health tips. Do you hear the word toxins and don't know what to do about it? In this episode, I'm going to share seven easy tricks to make your life a little less toxic. By the end of this video, there are a few things you can start doing today to detox your body and you'll be surprised to know it is way easier than you think. This is something I do every day and I feel so much better. I am so passionate about this topic because we live in the 21st century. Are you already feeling overwhelmed when you hear the word detox? You cannot control every factor of what you are exposed to nowadays. And if you try, you're gonna go crazy. But there are steps to reducing exposure and simple tips to help reduce the buildup in our systems. Which toxins are we speaking about? Sadly, there are so many in the environment affecting our health, but let's focus on heavy metals like mercury, lead, and arsenic to name a few, pesticides like glyphosate, and everyday chemicals we are exposed to that can affect our hormones or have cancer-causing effects. Let's start with avoidance. Always the simplest step. Trick one, read labels. Avoid any soaps, lotions, shampoos, conditioners, body care products with, and I apologize, this is a very long list, parabens, sodium lauryl sulfate, aluminum, fragrance, phthalate, talc, mineral oil, synthetic chemicals, tricoslin, and toluene. Trick two, check Environmental Working Group. They have products that are safe for skin, hair, and face. So if you're not sure what to buy, just go online. Trick three, avoid eating sushi and limit rice and wine. Not that you can't have any, but there are heavy metals like mercury in some of these. Rice has arsenic and mercury, and some wines, depending where they're grown, have an unhealthy dose of heavy metals. Trick four, don't drink water out of plastic or aluminum. Switch to a glass bottle that you can carry around, but don't do what I did, which is break my glass bottle all over the yoga floor in my class. Many people drink from plastic bottles all day long and it exposes them to hormone disrupting plastic chemicals all day. Also look for non-aluminum based deodorants. Trick five, eat organic. This might seem straightforward, but it can be hard to do this all the time. So choose organic when you can. Reduce your intake of pesticides by eating organic. And unfortunately, pesticides have been linked to mental health issues, cancer, autoimmune diseases, and they block proper functioning of our liver, which processes all the chemicals in our body. Trick six, try 12 weeks off gluten and sugar and see how you feel. Trick seven, love your liver. Okay, friends and viewers, let's talk about the liver for just a moment here. Love your liver, what is that? Yes, the liver, it's right here. Protect the liver, be kind to it. How? Reduce alcohol for those drinkers. If you can, keep it to no more than two drinks a week. Nightly drinking and binging really starts to cause inflammation in the liver, and if you cut down, you will reduce your risk of cancer automatically. Even moderate drinkers have been found to have some level of liver inflammation. And who wants to increase cancer risk? Alcohol is not good when our bodies are already trying to detox out all the pesticides, body care products, and heavy metals that are already plugging up our poor livers. Eat tons of veggies, especially leafy greens. Dandelion is one of the best, but apples, berries, asparagus, artichokes, and squash are great for the liver. The liver loves dandelion but it loves herbal teas too. And having a nice herbal tea in the evening can be quite relaxing. Red raspberry leaf is another one that I just love. Now, let's go through some nutrients for long-term gentle daily detox supplements that I love. 
I have a one-year-old daughter, so I figured we can make it at least part of the way through the alphabet here. A is for algae. Spirulina is the blue-green algae. It doesn't always smell that great, but it is a complete protein full of antioxidants, minerals, and vitamins, and helps support the body. A is also for apples. The pectin in apples is a great detoxer. B is for bladderwrack which is also a kind of seaweed, and basil. Bladderac can help detox heavy metals, and basil is good for pesticide detox. C is for chlorella and chlorophyll, and also cilantro. I personally take chlorella almost daily, but for some people, it might be a little hard on the digestion. D is for dulce, dandelion, and also diet. Diet meaning you are what you eat. Avoid eating heavy metals and give the liver food it loves. E is for exercise, a great way to do gentle daily detox. F is for fiber and fulvic minerals. G is for garlic. H is for, haven't you had enough yet? I is for Irish moss. J is for juicing. This would be the greener type of less sugary juices. K is for kelp. L, lemons. M is for MSM. This is a supplement that can be very good for the liver and dental detox. M is also for mung beans and methylation support, meaning certain people don't process B vitamins properly and they need them in a certain form. N is for NAC or NAC and nettles as in stinging nettles. O is for olive oil. P is for plenty of good water. Q is for quercetin. R is for red raspberry leaf. S is for, once again, spirulina. T is for thistle. U is for uvas, or grapes, ubiquinol. V is for variations on many sea vegetables. W is for drinking a lot of good, clean water. X is for xylophone. Just kidding, most kids' books say xylophone and I can't really think of anything else for X right now. Y is for yarrow, and Z is for zeolite, and also zebras. Also kidding, it's in most kids' books as well. I can't think of anything else there, but please feel free to write and give us any ideas you have on this. Okay, let's stop there with supplements, but the point is there are so many ways to gently detox our body daily. It mostly involves plants or sea vegetables. I hope these tips have been eye-opening. And let me know which one you start today. Consider checking out my other video on clean water. Leave me a message in comments. And don't forget to subscribe for future updates on how you can live a healthier life. I'm Dr. Ashley. Thanks for watching. See you soon.